What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and after nearly nine months, we are back with episode six of Switch It Up. The series we show off some really cool custom mechanical keyboard builds to show you more about what the keyboard hobby is all about. If you see anything you like, I'll have most of the keyboard builds and components and all that stuff listed for you in the description down below so you can learn more about them. But we'll kick it off now, episode six. First up from YouTuber Wildcat, who is a prominent member in the keyboard building community, we have the Helix Labs Aru, an Egyptian themed keyboard that was a prototype that was sent to Wildcat to show off on his channel, and I think it looks stunning. I'm loving the hieroglyphics that are embossed into the top of the keyboard here, and you couple that with the sort of artisan keycaps, if you will, for the arrow keys. They are all made of a white copper, completing this sort of Sphinx novelty section here for the arrow keys. You couple that with the brass weight underneath with this sort of wadget theme to it. I believe I'm saying that correctly. I hope. We also have a brass plate inside as well as a dampener to go along with their own sort of switches. These are their own custom clicky switches known as Skyler. And keycaps here to finish it all off is a nice black on white. Now, as a prototype, Wildcat said this was sent to him without too much information, you know, regarding the PCB or what stabilizers they're using. Uh, but it seemingly seems like you can buy this whole kit from their website, or at least pre-order it, in a bunch of different colors as well. So, I'm, like I said, just really liking this Egyptian theme they have going on. So I assume it's an anodized aluminum to go along with the different colors they offer. But again, as a prototype, I don't have too much info, but I will drop it all down for you in the description. But now we'll get into the sound test of their clicky Skylar switches. So such a unique build from Helix Labs here. I love that. I love seeing certain themes like this. Again, all down below. Shout out to Wildcat. Next up from YouTuber Tay Keyboards, we have a really cool custom black pink themed keyboard that he went full out when it comes to customizing. The board itself is actually the Inet Square X60, and he took it from its original state, which was a yellow aluminum frame with polycarbonate, and completely turned it into a black and pink keyboard to, you know, fit the group. Well, how did he do that? Well, first up for the polycarbonate plate, he did use an actual black dye and then resulted to airbrushing to get that more consistent black coating for the frame of the keyboard. And then to have that sort of internal pop with the pink inside for the actual plate, he also uh, spray brushed that. Now, fittingly, for the switches, he used some Gateron ink switches of their V2 run. Uh, he also lubed them with a Crytox 205 grade zero lube. And the stabilizers from C3 are also pink, again, to internally fit that black and pink theme, even though it's not seen. It's the dedication. And speaking of dedication, for keycaps, he used GMK white on black. And I know white isn't a part of black and pink, so what he did was actually dye his keycaps. So now the white accents for the characters would now result in a GMK pink on black custom run here. Then in addition to everything else, he custom printed some badges for the keyboard, as well as even custom printing stickers to put on the keycaps, just again to make some of those special references or nods to the group. And I gotta give it to you, Take Keyboards, because this is an absolute phenomenal execution. Yeah, it might not have turned out of how you originally maybe thought when you're going through the whole process and some of the, you know, trial and errors going through, but I gotta say, this the final result, I think, uh, you could sell this, you know? Like, it is just really, really impressive. I definitely encourage you guys to go check out his channel as well as his video so you can see more in-depth on just the lengths he went to in terms of customizing and giving you this finished black-pink-themed keyboard. So now we'll do the sound test with his glued Gateron ink switches. Next up, we have Mark, and he is actually from Room Tour Project, known as Working I Swear, with his custom Rama build. 
This is the Milk M60A Sequence 2. And for the actual construction, Rama does it just really nicely. It's milled down from a single piece of solid brass and aluminum. Then to match the milk colorway of the keyboard, his keycaps are the Cat Alpha keycap set. Then going a step further to match the gold weight on the backside and underneath, he has some sort of artisan keycaps to the escape key, spacebar, and enter key with this white, blue, and gold paint ejected into the acrylic to give it this really cool like swirl going on for it. It all matches perfectly. Now, unfortunately, don't have too much information on things like the stabilizers or if he lubed anything. Uh, we didn't really get to touch base that much after the pandemic. But for his switches, they are Xilent V2s. That's also in conjunction with their silicone internal dampener on the inside. So we'll check out those Xilents. So a great all-around build from Mark. I always love seeing these Rama builds in the end. And it just somehow even like goes along with his tabletop or whatever. Just that rich wooden texture and color. And you can even see integrated into the tabletop is those like gold specks and stuff. So I don't know how he pulled it off. It all just looks killer. Next up, we have Space Cables, and you probably know Space Cables from the cable company because, yes, this is the man behind those really nice custom quill cables that you've seen probably everywhere on YouTube and Instagram for custom keyboard builds as well as, you know, my channel. Here today with his Rama M65A, which he has Cerakoted in this iridescent indigo Montoya color. That subtle accent's going to pair nicely with his keycaps, the GMK Laser from Mito, and of course his own custom coil cable. Now inside he has some Telios V2 60 gram switches, which are lube with Crytox 205 grade zero. Uh, for the stabilizers, they are Zeal Golds, also lube with Crytox 205 grade zero. We do have a Melon Keys laser novelty keycap, as well as some extra things around the desktop to match, like, you know, the Red Bull, the Air 58, desk mat, it's all about aesthetics. Now the sound test of the lubed Telios V2. And then lastly, we have the Sonu with, yes, another Rama board. This again, the Rama M60A Sequence 2, but now in the Moon Stealth colorway. Matching it all perfectly to his GMK Phosphorus keycap set. You could see there with like the Joy-Cons and stuff, the custom coil cable. Uh, definitely a nice sort of like, you know, muted gray, light blue colorway. Again, for these Rama builds, all aluminum. And then popping off a keycap are his Alias 70 gram switches, which are not lubed. Unfortunately, no info on stabilizers. All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up for episode six of Switch It Up. Hope you all enjoyed, and I apologize for the long wait, but at the same time, there's no real guarantee that there won't be another long wait to episode seven because getting these submissions together and just finding quality good submissions takes a lot longer than you guys might think. A lot goes into this behind the scenes to even just get a single episode of Switch It Up out. But either way, hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I'll have the specs and the hardware in the description down below for some of the keyboard builds if you want to find out more. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. 
Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good day.